Welcome! The island of Kirk is the largest island in the Adriatic and our today's destination. We're going to pay a short visit to the island Arab, where we'll jump into some traditional dances and try out some local produce. Stay with us! The town of Kirk, or how the ancient Romans called it Splendissima Civitas Curictarum, in the translation the splendid city of people of Kirk, is one of the oldest urban settlements in Croatia. The city is enclosed with thick walls erected in the 1st century BC. Throughout history, they were constantly upgraded and improved, and the last time they were worked on was in the 15th century. Almost every house and street in Kirk has some historical value or interesting remains. So, for example, as part of a boutique, we can see the remains of the Temple of Venus in a glass-covered floor. The upper city gates allow us into the square of the Glagolitics of Kirk. Interesting for its nickname, Little Vatican. Namely, the square is a sort of a sacred center of the city, since there are several churches and monasteries there. The Kirk Cathedral is visually the most affluent building in the city, and its bell tower dominates the space from anywhere you look at it. Along the northern path of the cathedral, Roman baths have been discovered, and almost over all of the area of the old town of Kirk, a few meters below the ground, we find numerous traces and testimonies of the rich Roman city of Curicum. Bella Plaza is the main square in the city of Kirk. In the center of the square, there is a hexagonal well from the 16th century, with interesting sculptural relief representations. The most notable rulers not only of Kirk, but also of the wider area throughout Primorje, were the Counts Frankopan, who were based in the city of Kirk. At their time, the city flourished with many buildings and fortresses. The most famous fortress is Kastel, which guarded the city from the attacks from the sea, and the quadrangular tower served as a courtroom. At the Kamplin Square, in front of the castle, life typical of medieval towns went on. Mm -hmm. 
The Wakeboard Center Cable Kirk is located at the very entrance to Punat. This sport is getting more popular by the day and is especially loved among younger guests. The lift is 650 meters long and runs at 30 kilometers per hour, which is perfect for beginners and advanced wakeboarders. Those more advanced will enjoy ramp-ups for leaps and run various water acrobatics. But those who still prefer calmer forms of entertainment can sit back comfortably with a glass of wine. Particularly interesting is the House of Kirk Prosciutto, where guests can observe all the preparation that goes into creating of this delicacy. Kirk's prosciutto is interesting because it is actually a combination of two schools of prosciutto. While Dalmatian prosciutto is usually processed with skin and smoked, in Istria they dry it and process it without skin. So, Kirk prosciutto is a combination of the two. Unlike Dalmatian, it is not smoked. It is already dried and unlike Istrian, it is treated with skin. Of course, besides watching the production process, here you can taste this top ham. Apart from prosciutto, there are the unavoidable Kirk Schurlitze, a traditional type of noodle. The southernmost part of the island Kirk is located in a beautiful large bay. From the times the first tourists took to this area until today, it has been more than 110 years. Bashka has turned from a small fishing village to a real tourist beauty. It is best known for its Vela Beach, one of the most beautiful beaches in the Adriatic. Apart from the beautiful beach, we will introduce you to many other interesting things one really should explore in more detail. Due to the excellent climate with plenty of sunny hours, Bashka is an ideal destination from early spring until late autumn. Numerous cycling and hiking trails, hotels with indoor pools, lots of fun and recreational facilities certainly ensure that beautiful place such as Bashka stays even more interesting and attractive all year round. The entrance to Bashka is marked with an interesting monument, the letter L in the Glagolitic writing, which marks the start of the Bashka path, an educational path where all the interesting places in Bashka are marked in Glagolitic letters. Glagolitic script is an old Slavic writing system, which originated in the middle of the 9th century and remained in the Croatian territories until the 19th century. In 1851, in Jurendvor, at the Church of St. Lucia, a tablet made of white limestone was found in the floor of the church with the inscription on the Glagolitic. Bashka tablet 
is the first written document mentioning the ruler King Zvonimir in the national language. Within the church is a museum which hosts various cultural and artistic events. A small souvenir shop is a great little place to find unique souvenirs in the Glagolitic. After all, this island is the cradle of the Glagolitic heritage in Croatia. On the hill above Baška, there is an easily visible Church of St. Ivan. Here are the remains of the earliest Baška settlement, from 418, which was completely burned and destroyed by the Venetians in 1380. Bashka Vela Beach is about 800 meters long and in our opinion one of the most beautiful beaches in the Adriatic. White pebbles on the shore and fine sand in the sea make it ideal for children and fun games in the shallow waters. Large waves rolling on the warm sea make for exceptional fun times when the wind bora gives them a lift. Along the whole of Bella Beach, there are numerous catering facilities with really great offer, including a variety of refreshments and delicious food. Speaking of food, let's take a closer look at the island's most famous specialty, Shurlice. This is a variation of a hollow dough similar to the Zirnovo macaroni that we've already encountered on the island of Korčula. The production method is very similar. The dough is manually molded by a knitting needle and boiled in hot water. It is served with various kinds of sauces and the traditional recipe is accompanied by lamb or beef goulash with the addition of grated sheep cheese. The modern alternative combined with seafood is also excellent. Especially with a glass of the original white wine of the region, Zlachtina. We are leaving the island of Krk for a short while, with the help of our Sea Help friends, who will take us to the neighboring island of Rab. There's a real feast getting prepared at ACI Marina Supetarska Draga. Petarska Draga is also the name of the place and the bay, which is the natural extension of the most fertile and the largest field of Rab. Three small islets in front of the bay with beautiful sandy beaches make this a real little tourist paradise. In such a fabulous ambience, the ACM Marina enhances the overall tourist offer of this picturesque part of the island of Rab. 
This place is famous for its clean sandy beaches, which are protected from the wind, attracting more and more sailors, especially families with small children. The marina is open all year round, and since increasing its capacity, it has 328 berths in the sea and 53 places on the mainland. With all the necessary service, this ACI marina is also famous thanks to the superb gastronomic offer of the local restaurant. We were welcomed by the well-known Archers of Arab, who kindly escorted us to the reception, presenting traditional songs and dances. Needless to say, there were also numerous delicacies of the island of Rab. Good food, good company and an excellent ambience are a good enough reason for fun and partying to last long into the night. The next destination we are about to visit on the island of Kirk is situated in a beautiful bay known for its many interesting coves and beaches. And the center of this area is Malinska. The name Malinska originates from the 15th century and building of a mill. It was once the main port for the export of wood and olive oil from the island of Kirk. Malinska is abundant with beautiful beaches 
and as they turn into promenades, they stretch all over the area. Nicely decorated and maintained, they're a paradise for swimmers and seaside fun enthusiasts. Given the geographic position of Malinska and its natural protection from cold winds, Mediterranean vegetation is lush at every turn. Numerous villas are surrounded by beautiful gardens with breathtaking views. The large beach in front of the hotel, with an excellent water park, is ideal for children. The lounge bar is a fun spot and active at all times of the day, until late hours when surely enough great parties take over. Throughout the day, DJs and loud rhythms of the latest hits are put together for younger visitors. The beach in front of the hotel boasts an excellent a la carte restaurant where guests and swimmers can refresh during their all-day stay on the beach. Malinska is famous for its all traditional trades. At a small shipyard, we looked at the repair of the traditional coastal boat. It has to be maintained by the original recipe. Here, the boat is made entirely manually, and the production of one such vessel takes about six months. As we've mentioned earlier, the island of Kirk is famous for its top quality white wine of the sort Zlachtina. Originally, this variety grows on the mainland, in the surroundings of Novi Vinodolski. The epidemic of grape phylloxera in the late 19th century almost completely destroyed this source of grape. Therefore, it had to be completely moved to the island of Kirk it grew healthy and rich. At the winery, we had a chance to taste some excellent products made from Zlachtina, and we were particularly impressed with the sparkling wine, which is not bitter at all, but it is not too sweet either. A truly supreme quality sparkling wine. An important branch of production are also olives that have proved their excellence at international fairs. 
and the olive oil from the same production is almost always winning gold medals and first places. Intoxicated with delectable food, wine and olive oil, we return to the beach where we'll find a refreshment in the beautiful and pure sea. Until our next episode. <laughs>